given us resources that we've needed in order for our law enforcement to receive counseling and rest. Um, the U.S. Attorney has been very helpful to my office. I appreciate what they have done and how they participated in this. I want to tell you that I am proud to be a Florentine, and I'm proud to be a South Carolinian. This has been a traumatic experience for our entire community, but our community has come together, have loved on each other, have supported these families, and, and I'm just very proud that I'm a part of this community and a part of this state because the law enforcement officers and agencies from across our state have, have been willing to do anything they can to help us. Um, I also want to encourage you continued fervent prayer for our fallen officers and for their families as well. Um, we will be receiving a package of evidence and reports and interviews and from that, that evidence we will go through it meticulously, make the decisions we need to make, decide which route we will take at the appropriate time, and then at the appropriate time we will make the appropriate announcement. Thank you. Questions? Sheriff, sure, like, can you go over the numbers again of uh, how much ammo and the guns that were found in the house? Approximately 126 guns were recovered from the house that we do not believe were used in the shooting. Three weapons we recovered that we think he used to shoot with. Um, about approximately 391 rounds were fired by at least 13 police officers that were on the scene and approximately 39 rounds that we believe that uh, Fred Hopkins shot. You know if he owned these guns legally yet? Are they legal? Did he obtain them in a legal way? We're still doing that, but we believe so. Um, we haven't found anything at this point that indicates the guns were illegal guns or had any modifications made to them. Was the department aware that he had this many guns inside the home? I don't know. I, I doubt very seriously. He was a he was a gun enthusiast. He shot a lot. He had a lot of guns, you know. So I don't know if the law enforcement was aware of that, but that really wouldn't have mattered, you know. When they went there to do their investigation, nobody would have had an idea they'd have been met with something like this. And then responding officers, you know, we're going to respond. You know, they had fallen officers. They had to had to try to save them, and, and they did save them. Unfortunately, Sergeant Carraway wasn't able to be saved, but you know, the number of guns wouldn't have mattered. They just still went. That's, that's what we do. You talked about the size of the scene and how you worked your way from the farthest point to the house. <coughs> Can you give us an idea? What is that farthest point that you found yourself in? We had probably six blocks away from the house is where we started and worked toward the house. And this house, you know, large outside area but then when you get to the house it's over 6,500 square foot house so we had to search that in complete house too so you know 13 days of a lot of hard work went in but you know it was done very professionally and it was done the right way and you know I don't believe we missed any evidence whatsoever I think we've gotten everything uh, that needs to be obtained to prosecute this case the way it should be prosecuted There was uh, an adult there, there was two minors there, Seth Hopkins was there, and then Fred Hopkins was there. Can you give us an indication of how long uh, this incident took? There, there's been reporting that's been several, it was several hours of shooting. I, I don't know, I don't have the timeline of that. There was, uh, there was a period, some periods there was no shooting. Uh, again, it, 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 it was a pretty long, active shooter going on. And how what was the, the shooter actually fired, Mr. Hopkins? We think approximately 39. Again, now I'm giving you approximate number because I don't want to be tied down to exact until um, we have it actually processed in the laboratory where it needs to be done. But that's the guesstimate that we've got from the crime scene people. And what were the sheriff's officers and Columbia, or, sorry, Florence police uh, officers armed with whenever they were fired from that? I, I don't know. I know they were using long guns and pistols. All right, thank you. And we'll send out a copy of uh, the press release with all the information, all the details on the numbers to the distribution list.